Well, it was a day to say thank you and to recognize the efforts of many students, volunteers, contractors and donors who helped make Hillside Stadium a reality. 25 years ago, the area occupied by the stadium as well as the Tournament Capital Centre was vacant land. But today, the City of Kamloops acknowledged those who literally moved the earth to create a prominent place for the facility. I feel young again, <laughs> but I don't particularly like my picture up there. I, I shouldn't have done that, but I mean, uh, no, I, uh, I feel good about it. Kamloops resident Gordy Patterson is reminiscing about the good old days in the 80s when he helped clear the way for Hillside Stadium. And we organized it and brought our equipment up and helped from the contractors in the Caribou College and, and the city. Uh, we ended up bringing eight piece of equipment up and moving 300,000 yards of material. There. Oh. The official unveiling. The, official unveiling. Yeah. the city unveiled a plaque today to commemorate the operating engineer's training plan, Local 115. The students, volunteers, and donors who helped make Hillside a reality in 1987. What was once a pile of dirt is now a full point in Kamloops and a cornerstone of the tournament capital. We've got a number of events that have happened here. Every single one of our summer games programs has, has had a component here, the Canada Games, the BC Games. So we've got the senior games coming this, this summer. We've, uh, we've got the NAC Act coming up after that with basically every one of the top athletes in track and field will be here uh, next summer. It's the site of the BC Lions training camp in the summer. The 2010 Olympic torch relay happened here. And standing here today, where it all started, it's a fond memory for Gordy. Don't get any better than that. You don't get any better than Gord on a cat. He's proud that some of the 16 Caribou College students who cut their teeth on this project later went on to pave the way for many British Columbians. During the training period, the eight-week training period, the Coca-Hella was at full swing. And we took kids, young guys that had some experience and not much, and got them on the scrapers and the cats, and they were dispatched to the Coca-Hella. So they went from here to the Coca-Hella, which is, you know, and the greater operators a year later went to the Coca-Hella as well, because by that time they were doing the finish work in the Coca-Hella. He retired in 1996, but Gordy is proof positive that love went into the foundation of Hillside Stadium. Well, I'd like to do it again. <laughs> I'd like to see it rolling over the hill, that equipment. And me standing there saying, okay, boys, bring her on. Let's unload it. We want to get started.